Here we go! Hey everyone, this is an interesting little build. This is the 1 to 1 scale Lander Class Shuttle from Star Wars. Obviously, a, uh, a while ago we did the 2 to 1 model, which was a little bit of a pain. Um, and it was one of the last ones we did in 1.12. So now that we're in 1.16.4, I think is the one we're in now, I believe. Um, there's a, a fair amount of new material to use. However, for this build in particular, I wouldn't say that the uh, the colour palette is is majorly different so you can definitely display these two alongside each other so the old one in the um well not the old one the two to one model and this one um if you want to do that for whatever reason they look pretty much like perfect still both of them um i do apologize in advance by the way um i do have a pretty major cold so my voice is gonna be quite stuffy for this which is a shame but i don't want to break the sort of semi schedule we have going for the uh, for the build and the uploads so there is an interior for this um and it's just the sort of seats at the back here as you can see and then the walkway to the front sadly i just couldn't find a way to get four seats to fit in here so there is just two and this was an absolute pain to try and work out but eventually we got there so yeah that's um the inside for you and there's also the flight mode here with the wings extended essentially what we're going to be doing is the main body and the landing gear and everything first and then all the way up to the top wing and then we will do both sets of wings separately so we'll do one side i think um for one wing and then the other side will be the other wing and then it will just be a case of copying over essentially um but yeah it really shouldn't be too difficult and i'd say probably between an hour and an hour and a half um, is is like the approximate time. Uh, back here you can see the engines, uh, very like I mean the, the engines on this are quite iconic. They've got a very um, recognizable shape. Um, I think even at this scale you can tell, even from this kind of view here, what ship this is, just from this angle. Um, so yeah, I do do love the engines. However, I will always prefer them on the two to one and five to one models. And yeah, that's all I have to say about it really, so let's get on with the build onto, um, I think we'll do layer 1, 2, and I think it's just layer 1 and 2 actually, so yeah, let's do uh, those two. Alright, so first things first, you might notice the tutorial pad is a little bit different now. I'll give you a quick view of that actually. Um, I'm working on something with this, so uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Um, but I won't be saying purple and green crystals anymore as the front, it's now going to be the green line is the front of the build, red line is the back. Um, it's just a lot easier, I suppose, and you can pretty much always see the green line um, whenever we do any build rather than, um, obviously now you can't see the, the crystals, so yeah, I'm going to stop explaining now because you get it, you get the idea. Take a temporary block, also polished andesite stairs, smooth quartz stairs, stone brick wall, iron bars, and smooth quartz slab. And remember, green lines the front, we're going to do one block in the middle. Gap of one, one there and there, and then gap again, gap again. So that should be uh, nine in total, I believe there. And then now take the smooth quartz stairs, and we're going to do essentially like a um, circle, like so. And you want to make it so that the middle becomes a full block. I just realised I've still got shaders on. Um, I don't normally have them on in tutorials ever. Um, I guess it's because I'm poorly here. Huh? Uh, same thing here. And just like that, there we go. On to the next layer up. Two walls like so, there and there, and there and there as well. And then two iron bars on the back. My voice really is going already. <laughs> so just there like so. And top half slab there, top half slab there. I sound like clone now. <laughs> just lowered the tone of my voice just like 15 times over. Um, so there we go, that's that bit done. Uh, so top half, slabs next to the walls. <clears throat> okay, that's better. <laughs> Why well, skip one, do one there, and one there as well. So that's from the middle block. And then this is going to be a polished unsight stair there, and another one there. So that's going to be part of the landing ramp. Um, if you're doing the flight mode, obviously you don't need any of this, because this is the ramp on the front, these are the landing gear. 
Um, however, I would recommend, just for the sake of the tutorial, um, to do this bit and then just delete it afterwards. Um, because you can always use these materials again anyway. Um, so it's not like you're wasting them. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be layer 1 and 2 done already. So let's move on to layer number 3. Alright, so this layer and layer number 3. Um, come to here and do another polish and side stairs just like that. Throw that away now. And we're going to need a smooth quartz slab, quartz slab, polish our right slab, smooth uh, quartz slab, iron trap door, uh, stone brick wall, iron bars. You'll also need a white banner and also uh, just normal quartz stairs, which are there. There we go. So take the smooth quartz slab, one, two, three, uh, four, five, just like that. And then one extra on the back. Take the quartz slab, one, two, one, two, three, and then four more smooth quartz slab, one, two, three, four. Take the smooth stain slab, one, two, three, four, four there, and then three on the back, just like that. Okay, take the polish all right slab, come from here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then grab the smooth quartz slabs again. One's gonna go there. So that's one, two, three, four. Take the normal quartz, one and two. And one and two, and then just do the same thing here. One, two, three, four. This is gonna be two, two. And again, two and two. And remember, these are all top half uh, slabs. Take the quartz stairs, do one here. And then we're also going to take white banner to go there like that. Okay. So from there, come to the back side here. Take the smooth quartz slabs, one, two, and three. Three there. Three again. And then once more, another quartz stair there like so. Two banners. And just do the same on this side, so three, 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 and then this is just one stair, two banners. And just do the uh, other thing on this side as well. There we go. So you should get that. We're also going to take the iron bars and uh, stone brick walls again. It's going to be two, two there, and then two iron bars are going to go here as well. Finally, on the back, take the smooth quartz slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that basically does it for the slabs on this layer. Take the iron trap door. One, two, one, one. And we're just going to do essentially four on each side. And then also one there and one there. Do one extra, throw away any block, and just grab a temporary block. I'm going to do a gap of three. Iron trap door there, iron trap door there. Okay, so you should essentially have this so far. And the ramp should lead you up into the body. Wonderful. So let's move on to layer number four. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get into the not so difficult part. I don't think this is going to be difficult at all. Um, I say that now, and I hope it's true. Okay, so this is the engine layer. Um, so we take polished diorite, polished andesite, white concrete, sea lantern, diorite wall, stone brick wall, iron bars, grey concrete, and the n-rod. Come to this uh, back middle block here and just do one of those. Take the n-rods, and that's going to be three, upright like so. And then another polished diorite on the ends next to it. Take sea lantern, oh actually no, not yet, white concrete, one, two, and three. And then this is also going to be light blue stained glass. Three of those, three of those, and then take the sea lanterns now, and we're going to do five, um, six, seven, eight, and nine, just there like that. Take the polished on the site, one, two, and three, three here. This is going to be polished diorite, one, two, three, and four. One and the site, one diorite, one and the site, just there. There we go. So you should get that. Diorite wall on the back here and here as well. And then take the stone brick wall, that's going to be three. 
and then one here and not on this end one but we are going to take diorite wall and just do two and then four like that okay one two three and then also grab an iron bars that's just going to go here to round that off so there we go now we're going to take block of stone that's just going to go here and then take the gray concrete that's going to be one two three four four there and then this is going to be sets of two, one, two, three, and four, and five of those. One, two, three, four, five. Take polished andesite stairs this time. That's going to be five here. Five on this side. Obviously, we've got the interior seats now, as you can see. Take the light gray carpet. One, two, three, three, and three again, and three again. So that's a four by three. Grey carpet, three of those. Take the iron bars once more. That's just going to go here, one and two. Separate by one block. Throw that away for now. Polish underside, one, two, and three. Three again. So now we've basically closed in the interior, so that's nice and compact. So what we work on now is the front, essentially, where the head is. We just have to finish off this bit first. So that's going to be two uh, diorite walls on each side. And then a dark oak fence gate, one just there, and one there as well, and then flip it. Okay, taking the uh, carpets again, light grey and grey. We're going to do one and two there. Uh, one, two, three here, and then also one and one with the light grey. Just like that. Um, take the polished underside stairs once more. These are going to be for the pilot seats, just one and two. Take the iron trap door, that's going to be one top half one here, one there as well. And then we're just going to go to here again real quick, um, grab a dark oak trap door, that's going to go just there, there, and there, so those should be adjacent to the carpets, and then just flip them, and that closes in the neck of the lambda a little bit better. So there we go, just like that. And again, sorry I'm a bit sniffly, it's just uh, something's going round. Light grey carpet in the middle of those seats. This is going to be a uh, smooth stone slab just there. And then also take quartz slab. Um, in fact, we'll use, we'll use smooth quartz for this bit. Smooth quartz slab one and two. And then take the normal full quartz block. And that's going to be one, two, and three. One, two, and three. And then this one in the middle, I think, is a slab. So just put that there like so. Okay. And once you've done that, that is uh, pretty much everything for that layer. So let's move on to... Oh, actually, there's one more thing. One more thing before we go. This is just going to be a um, polished underside stair. And that's going to go facing uh, this way, I believe. But we can always change it in a minute. And then also a grindstone. That's just going to go facing towards the front like that. And let me just have a look on here to see. Um, yeah, I think it is that way. But I will check between the layers and we'll change this if it's the other way around. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's going to do it for that layer. So let's move on to layer number... Ooh, I don't even know what we're on now. Um, one, two, three, four. Lay number five. Let's do that. Okay, so next one up. Um, one quick thing to change on the previous layer. So these full blocks here are actually stairs. I'm um, not sure why I missed that. Change this one to be facing that way. That's the polished underside one. This one's a corner one. This one's a sideways one. This one's a sideways one. My apologies. Two and three. There we go. Okay, so now um, let's grab a white concrete, do five of those here, five of those here. Take the grey concrete, that's going to be uh, one, actually we'll do two there, two there, and just do another white concrete here. There we go. Take the stone block, another one here, and then one, two, three, four, five. White concrete goes there, white concrete there as well. Then we're going to take the smooth quartz stairs, that's going to be one just here. 
and um, also check them in the right place here actually um, let's just quickly count these out so that should be one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven. Oh, okay so then it's just one more white concrete here and then take a uh, quartz slab the smooth one like before do one here and then just bring this all the way across um, until you get to to there okay do another two here another two here as well and then another white concrete is just going to go there um, we're going to take the smooth quartz slabs once more here one two three four five six seven eight and eight on this side just like that this is going to be a smooth quartz stair facing outwards just there like that oh no sorry not on that one um it'll be the this one here in there as well okay take the white concrete once more one here one there this is going to be another polished underside and then another iron bar on each side this time we're going to do the dark oak trap doors on top of the carpets here like that facing outwards do two of those and then flip them so you've got that kind of indent going inwards on each side and also grab the grey banner that's just going to be one there and one here to kind of cover up that brown section a little bit okay all right take two more smooth quartz slabs here two more there and then with snow layers we're going to essentially do uh, two on top of each other like that two again skip one two two and just keep going like that and um, don't do any on these polished andesite except this last one which is going to be two more there like that and then also one two and three on that one like that two uh one two 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 and then two and two there we go and there's a chance that might be one one layer higher i think if that one is that layer uh, let's see how that looks and let me check it really doesn't make much of a difference um but yeah we are going to add an extra layer so that's that's fine so you should end up with this hopefully which is looking good so far to be honest um looks quite nice Take the iron bar now, one here and one on that side. And this is going to be polished diorite, one and two, and one and two here. Okay, taking the uh, dark oak trap doors, do another one here and another one there and flip those two like that and these should make the seats uh, work essentially. Also grab a white banner. One's going to go here and one's going to go there. And that essentially covers up the gaps from the outside, which was uh, very, very tricky to work out. But we got there, got there eventually. Uh, birch trap door. This is going to go just, um, so just here and then flip that on each side. Take a polished black stone stair. And it's going to be an upside down one, upside down one there. And then this one in the middle is going to be a slab. We're going to take the smooth quartz slabs, three of those. And then with the snow layers once more. Um, I actually used carpet for this one. One, two, and three. Just like that. All right, final thing. Diorite wall, that's going to go just here. And on this side. And then this final one is polished black stone wall on each side. And that pretty much finishes it. This layer, I mean, not um, not a build. Uh, the final thing before we move on, just grab some black banners this time. And that's going to be five here. And five here. So you've got ten seats in total. I think that's more than it actually should have. I'm not completely sure on that one. Um, but yeah, plenty of seating. And it wasn't really based on a specific seating plan because it has appeared in different forms. Um, so I'm not sure which one the official seating plan is. So I just went with this because uh, this was sort of, I guess, the ideal way to do it. But yeah, that is going to be it for that layer. So let's move on to layer number six. I think we're on to now. Yeah, layer six. Let's go. 
All right, next layer up, um, polished black stone stairs, quartz stairs, black carpet, uh, smooth quartz block, white banner, iron bars, polished andesite stairs, iron trap door, and polished andesite. Grab the black carpets, three of those, and then three polished black stone stairs just like that to carry on the slope upwards. We're going to throw away those two now and grab the smooth quartz slab. Three of those top half. This is going to be a quartz stairs left and right. And then a full smooth quartz block behind it with a white banner on the outside. Okay, you should have this essentially. Take the iron bars, that's going to go here, one and two. And take the polished on the side stairs, two of those, two of those here. And then a full block, full block. Okay, you can see the uh, gaps on the inside have been pretty much completely covered. There's a uh, tiny little gap between this banner um, and the outside, but it's very minimal. Um, obviously, if this were real space, you would probably be uh, sucked out of that tiny gap and into the uh, into the vacuum of space. Uh, grab the smooth quartz slab. There's going to be just one between these two polished unsight blocks. And then two iron trap doors, one and two, next to the stairs like that. Um, also grab a smooth quartz block here, one and two. And then with the normal quartz stairs, that's going to be one facing outwards and one facing outwards that way. And also a smooth quartz slab. Or actually, no, uh, use a normal quartz slab this time. <clears throat> grab that and that's going to be one, uh, two and three. And then one, two, and three here as well. Okay, and then this is going to be a, uh, let's see, set of two snow layers. So one, or actually it's just one, just one, leave it like that. So one snow layer there. Grab the diorite wall, that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one snow layer there. Okay, take the iron bars. That's going to be one just there like so on each side. And with the white concrete, one and two, one and two, three, um, dire, uh, no, <laughs> gray concrete there. And then three stone blocks. Take a observer. And we're actually going to do it kind of uh, off to one side. So just like that, you need the uh, grey stripy side, like so. And a birch trap door. That's going to go there, flip down, flip down. And then finally on the back, just a dark oak fence gate. And that flips just like that, uh, like so, sorry. Take quartz stairs, one, two, three, four, and five of those and five on this side as well. Okay, so you should have this so far. It's looking really good. Um, and that is gonna be everything for the outside. I was nearly gonna end the layer there, but there is a little bit to do on the inside here. This is just for the roof uh, of the interior. Gonna be stone brick slabs, five of those, five of those on this side. Um, and then tape polished andesite slabs, one there. Skip one and do three. And then this is an iron trap door just there like that. I think there's going to be a uh, sea lantern above it for a bit of lighting on the inside. So, yeah, that is going to be it for that layer again. Let's move on to the next. Um, well, I was going to say next one, but I think we actually finish the entire slope. And then we move on to the uh, the wing after that. But we're going to do that entire slope in one one layer. So, yeah, let's let's do that. Okay, next layer up, um, you're going to need to go to the front, grab these materials by the way, uh, polished iron right stairs, quartz slab, quartz stairs, smooth quartz block, iron trap door, white concrete block and netherite. Um, you can change this out for something else by the way if you're in survival. Uh, smooth quartz slab and snow, taking those two last materials, um, come to here, do the three smooth quartz slab, and then three snow layers and you can just uh, not get rid of those yet, you'll need those again actually. Take the iron trap door, that's going to go just there like so. And then also a light grey carpet, one and two. You don't need the light grey carpet now, grab the trap door back. Normal quartz slab, but one, two, three, four, five of those. And we're also going to do an extra one and two for now. 
I swear I placed another one, but I don't know where it's gone. Um, so one and two there like that, and then two here. Um, this is going to be smooth quartz slab, three of those. And then taking the snow layers, we're going to do one, two, three, four, four, and four again. So it should be level. We're just going to add an extra one to make it five. <laughs> okay. Taking the quartz slab again, uh, we're just going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, like that, and then six again. This is going to be the smooth quartz block, one, and then do uh, one, two, three here, and then one there as well. And then this is the block of netherite. Alternatives for this, you can use the observer um, or any other grey block, I suppose. Throw that away. Take a sea lantern. That's going to go just there above the trapdoor, like I said before. And then with the smooth quartz block again, loop that around. Um, come to the next layer up, we're going to do the uh, normal quartz block, one and two. Normal quartz stairs, one. This is going to be another two smooth quartz blocks. And then this is going to be a slab and a stair. Come to here, do another... Um, smooth quartz uh, block I think it is um, I'll check in a minute actually um, first of all let's do another normal quartz slab here we'll do a hmm we'll do a block for now but we can change that in a minute do a stone block iron trap door there and then just another stone block here we're going to do everything we've just done on the other side as well, just to uh, make sure we stay at the same level. Two more quartz slab go there, and they're on that side. And then this is going to be white concrete. Um, one, two, three, four, and five. And then this is a polished diorite full block, and also a uh, smooth quartz slab just there. Okay, take polished diorite stairs. That's just going to be one here like that. Okay, and then, um, I'm not sure, I feel like these should be stairs, but I'm not 100%. You can t make them stairs if you want, even if they weren't on the original model. Yeah, I guess that kind of works. Um, but yeah, anyway, that is uh, basically it for the main body now. So we'll do the top wing, which again is the same on both modes, so even if you're just doing one mode, it, it applies. Um, applies to both anyway, so we've got to do this. Um, so we'll do the top wing and then we'll do the uh, landed wing on one side and then do the flight wing. Uh, in fact, we might do we might do both wings on the same side. So the landed one, then get rid of it and then do the flight one. And then either time you can just copy it over because um, I will just be doing one in this video. Yes, that is the main body. Let's move on to the wings. I'm going to get rid of these temporary blocks as well. So let's go. Uh, not the wings, the top fin. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right, we're going to be doing this bit um, one material at a time. So this is the top wing. It's going to be uh, <laughs> pretty fun, I guess. Um, so we're going to need polished diorite, white concrete, block of quartz, smooth quartz block, block of iron, polished andesite, stone, and white concrete powder. Um, as well as a couple of other things, but we'll get to those um, eventually. I'm going to start with one polished diorite block just here. And then a diagonal upwards, just another one. And then diagonal again, two, three, four in total on that line. Down by one, and then to the left. And white concrete, just one here like that. Okay. Take the polished eye right again. We're going to do, well, that's a lot. Let me count that. One, two, three. In fact, we'll do it one bit at a time. So three here. And then we're going to do uh, five in total. One, two, three, four, five. And on those last five that we just did, I'm going to start with the polished andesite and the stone. So two polished andesite. Skip one, one there, and one there. Stone here, stone here, another stone just like that. Carrying on with the polished diorite, do another five. One, two, three, four, five. And that finishes off that bit for you. Go to here, do one there, and then one here, and delete that middle one. And we're going to do two and three. Diagonal two in total, diagonal three in total, diagonal three in total again, diagonal two in total, and then diagonal 
three in total like that. And then to the right buy one. And that is all of the polished iron that you need. So we'll move on to block of iron because this one will be quite easy. Do one here like that. Delete the uh, temporary block there. Do one here. Go to the inside. Do one, two, and then one. One there as well. And then diagonal. Do one here. I'm going to do another one adjacent to that stone, just like that. And then this is going to be one, two, and three. Uh, one just there. I'm going to do another one just here. And then one final one just there. I think that is all of them. Um, take the white concrete uh, really quickly. We're just going to fill this area in. It'll make it easier. Um, so now let's do let's see the white wool uh, which I haven't even got on this list here actually we need white wool there's a lot of white materials on this so it's going to be one two and then two up like that do one just here one there as well one's going to go there this is going to be uh, one two and three and then one to the right like that there's going to be another one just there, like so, in that gap. Another one just here. This is going to be one, two, and three. One's going to go there. One's going to go there. This is going to be one, two, and three. One's going to go there. And finally, on the right-hand side here, one here. And then one, two, and three there like that. Um, oh, one, well, two more. One goes there, one here, and then that is going to be it for the white wall. Grab the white concrete now. We'll uh, we'll do that. So there's going to be one just here. One's going to go just there. This is going to be two. There's going to be another one here. Coming up to this bit. One there, one on that side over to here that's going to be two just one there like that and then one more is going to go just down here like so and then we've done this one on the back so that's good so you can throw away the ones we've done already so that was the polished iorite the white concrete and the white wool and so it's now just these materials we don't need the uh, these two anymore either so let's do the block of quartz now um, there's only a couple of them on this one, so there's going to be, uh, where are they, let's see where we are, so three here, two there, and then two here as well, and that looks like it's all of them, so you could throw that away, we did the block of iron as well actually, didn't we, um, what am I missing here, let's see, uh, oh, so the smooth quartz block, there's quite a few of these. There's going to be one just there, um, and then another one, and one in this gap here. There's going to be one just there. There's going to be another one at the top here. Um, oh, you also do need another white concrete that's going to go just there. This is a smooth quartz block. Uh, there's going to be one, and then two. And then one here. Sorry, there. And there's going to be a smooth quartz one, two, and three. And then one in that gap. There's going to be another one that's going to go just here. And then there's going to be two, two here. And that's fine for now. Right, take the quartz stairs now. We need those real quick. Don't need too many of them. Um, where are they? There we go. Quartz stairs. There's going to be one just there. Take the white concrete powder. Do another quartz stair here. And then basically any of these gaps is uh, just going to be the white concrete powder now. So one goes here. This is all white concrete powder. One there, two here. And uh, yeah, so basically... That's why I saved it to last because it falls and breaks if you uh, do it wrong. 
So it should look like this so far, and there's one more on the top just there like that. And then also, while you're at the top there, just grab a layer of white carpets just to keep that top side uh, nice and clean. Grab the diorite wall. One, and then one's gonna go, uh, we need that concrete powder again actually. Another concrete powder there, this is a, oh do we, hang on. Yeah we do, it's fine. One there. One here, one here, one here, one here, one here. So you've got that nice uh, equal taper. We also need grey banner. Now, if you want to make this a bit more um, accurate, I suppose, I didn't do this for this build in particular, but you can uh, make the strip on the grey banner quite thin if you have uh, white on the left and right, and then just have the grey going down the middle. Um, I may do that for when we do the post-build showcase, but we'll, we'll see, I guess. Um, take the diorite walls again, that's going to be two here, so you should have three at the top, three grey banners. Um, again here, two diorite walls, three grey banners, and then this is once more, two diorite walls, three um, grey banners. Okay, so you should have that, the wing looks really, really nice. Final things are just details on the outside, so you need a birch sign, that's going to be um, one and two there on both sides like that grab the iron bars we need those real quick that's just gonna go there one and two one and two there and then finally we just need to add sort of like a false extra layer on the outside here and we're gonna do that using the white banner so that's gonna be one um, and then just basically cover this area with them um, all of these get covered um, just where the polished diorite is for that bit. Um, so you should end up with, with that basically uh, all being well. And then again on this side, one, two, three, four. This is going to be one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four there as well. And then this one is just an extra banner there. And yeah, that is... Uh, that's going to be it for the for the top wing now, I think. I think that's everything. So, let's move on to the first wing design, which is the, the closed design, which is obviously the base model. And then we'll modify this a little bit to make it the flight model. And then we'll get on to the post-build showcase. So, let's go. So, starting off the wing, we're going to be working on the right-hand side, um, and then copy node to the left. So, normally I do left to right, however, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's just a case of copying to the other side that you're not currently doing is it's the easiest way <laughs> um so same materials pretty much um is the top wing so we've got white wall white concrete block of quartz smooth quartz polished diorite block of iron um there's no white concrete powder this time and diorite wall iron bars and stone as well are some blocks that you will need too so starting off down down here you need to um come to this second snow block and the first block that you're going to need is a block of quartz and then a white wool. This is going to be white concrete. And this is going to be block of quartz and then white wool again. And then it's going to be a smooth quartz block and then two white concrete. So just like that. Take the diorite walls and we're going to do a row of them all the way across. Sadly, this is like the only white wall that we have, or even close to white. So um, there isn't much colour variation with this one. Um, but yeah, so do the diorite wall all the way across on top of those uh, the ones we did before and then go outwards as well. So just like that. Okay. Um, oh, I think we're one block short actually here. Um, yeah, so add a block of iron just there and then it's the two uh, two white concrete and there we go so it should be let me just double check that three four five six seven eight nine I think in total so three four five six seven yeah nine perfect come into this side here block of quartz uh, smooth quartz block actually one and two is gonna go there like that so you should have that sort of taper this is gonna be two iron blocks two white concrete 
and then uh, I think it's a block of quartz and then a smooth quartz, so just like that. And then again, down right wall all the way across, and then do the same again on top, and then on the inside of it. Um, I wish I didn't have to do this particular block, but it is iron bars all the way across here, and this connects us to the next layer of walls upwards. So that's going to be a wall um, just there, and that's all the way across uh, yet again. And again, and then this is iron bars one and two, all the way across like that. So you should get this so far, you can see that taper that we've got going on. Okay, next up, um, so we're going to come to here and do smooth quartz block one, two, and three. This is going to be polished diorite three and three, smooth quartz in the middle, and then three and three again, and then smooth quartz there as well. On the outside of this, take white banners. That's going to be one, two, and three here, like that. Okay, should have this so far. Next layer up, take the diorite walls again, all the way across, apart from that one there. So ignore that one, and then do them all the way across. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. On the um, inside, again with the iron bars, just like that. And then diorite walls two sets of uh, six on top, like so. Finally take the stone block, and this is going to be one, two, three, four, five. Two smooth quartz here, two there, and then this is polished diorite, just like so. And then take the white carpets again just to uh, cap that off at the top. Okay, uh, one last thing, it's just iron bars again. On the outside here. And all being well, that should give you that lovely, nice taper going upwards. Um, looks looks very good. Uh, sadly, just wish there was a. Um, I mean, potentially, if you have some sort of shader on, um, you can change these iron bars to be like white or grey or light grey stained glass if you can make it um, opaque. Yeah, I think that's the word. So that you can't see through it. Um, but yeah, for now, iron bars is the best thing. So what I'm going to do is copy this over. You can see it with both wings, all the landing gear and everything. And then we'll do a... Um, we'll we'll take a jump cut and then I'll copy the build um, and do the flight mode. And then we'll do a post-build showcase of both of them. So yeah, get this copied over. Um, and we will we'll be back. So for the first part of the flight mode, and by the way, this is what the land mode looks like completed. Looks uh, really awesome. First thing you want to do is obviously get rid of the landed wings. So I'm just going to use the one for this, but you can use your hand if you want to. Um, what have I done there? Pause two, set zero. There we go. So that's that bit got rid of, and then this bit as well. There we are. So you should end up with um, essentially how we left the body when we did the first few layers. Um, and again on this side, we'll do the same thing. Uh, we'll have to do it, I think, uh, to about there. There we go, and then get rid of this bit as well. And then we'll be ready to uh, make some more changes. Okay, so the wings are now gone for the landed mode. First thing you want to do is get rid of this ramp here. Put another smooth quartz block there, or slab, sorry. And then ignore the fact that a lot of these carpets are missing. It just does that when you copy over. But it's three grey carpets um, on that one. Three light grey, three grey, just like that. And then leave this as it is. And then this one's just a light grey here. Um, let's see if I can... Oh, that's the wrong place. <laughs> ah, okay. I'm, I'm where I need to be. So that's good. Um, so that's the underside of the uh, of the neck which doesn't look very good I will admit from beneath because of all those trap doors but um, not much I can do about that really you want to also get rid of these bits here and these two and replace them with just slabs like that get rid of all this and then again just use a mixture of uh, 
I'll probably do it something like this. So two, two, and two with the normal quartz, and then fill the rest in with the smooth quartz. Um, same, same over here. And you don't need to get rid of anything of, like that was up here either, because it just gets covered up. Um, so we'll do the same, same thing. Two, two, and two, and then these bits here. So that's basically the um, the body prepped for the flight mode now, which is good. Um, so what we'll do is just the the wings themselves. So let's uh, quickly get on with that. Right for the wings, first things first. Uh, grab these materials: polished diorite, block of iron, white concrete powder, white wool, smooth quartz block, blo uh, block of quartz, and white concrete again. Same as the materials you used before. Now, this is kind of <laughs> funny because uh, a lot of this gets destroyed, so you can just get rid of all this um, up to, to about there, I think. Um, maybe all the way, actually. Yeah, just get rid of all of these for now. Um, so that entire row of slabs just goes. I'm going to take the iron block that's going to go just here. And then this is going to be a... Uh, Let's just say a white wall. This is going to be a white concrete. We'll do that next to the white wall. Um, two polished diorite. This is going to be a white wall. Uh, not powder, white wall. <laughs> just there. Um, it's going to be a white concrete just here. This is going to be another two polished diorite like that. Then it's going to be iron block one and two there. White wall just goes here, white concrete there. And then what we're going to do next is just grab quartz stairs. Okay, and we're going to do one there, two here, and then carry this all the way along. Just until you reach, until you reach there, and then this one is going to become a corner one. And then leave it at the back here, and then in these gaps it's going to be white concrete powder, just like that. Okay, take another white concrete, that's going to go just here, and then we're going to take dark oak fence gate, going to be one, and then also two, flip them both, take a dark oak sign, one is going to go there, and also one just here, and those are the, um, the cannons on the wings. On the landed mode, I couldn't really find a way for it to uh, work, so they're not on there because they they fold in a really weird way. Uh, but on the flight mode, they're pretty much just like this, which is quite easy. Um, so now we need, obviously, the quartz stairs. We also need the smooth quartz stairs and the polished diorite stairs as well. And you can pretty much throw away most of these blocks. In fact, I think you can throw away all of them. Um, so just keep these as your main materials for now. Okay, so we're going to do a, a smooth quartz to start with. That's going to go here. And do three polished diorite. This is going to be a smooth quartz, two polished smooth quartz. And then on the underside of that, um, we don't have anything. Grab a iron trap door. That's just going to go underneath the cannon that we did before, um, but not on top. Just on the just on the bottom. Okay, take your smooth quartz stairs again. We're going to go down a layer, and you kind of need to do it sort of like steps, so like this. Do three more polished diorite another smooth quartz, another two polished, another smooth quartz, and then down another layer here. We're just going to do the, because um, there is stuff underneath, but I'll do that all at the end. Um, so I'm going to do like just the stairs first, and then and then do anything that's under underneath. So one smooth quartz here, this is going to be two polished diorite, one smooth quartz, two polished diorite, one smooth quartz. And then do another set of two of those exact same. So that's one. Then again, 
So if you can hear the computer fans in the back, background, by the way, it's really weird. Um, it just it goes a bit crazy. I don't know what's wrong with it, um, but the fans just go absolutely mental. No idea why it does it. So yeah, that's three sets of stairs there, and then two here. Obviously, you've got these stripes going down all the way. Now we're going to do two normal quartz stairs here. And this is going to be four smooth quartz stairs. In fact, make it five and delete this one. And replace that one with it because it indents by one again. Going down at diagonal. Do another one there. And two, these are the normal quartz. Three polished diorite. And then one smooth quartz. Going down again. This time you need stone stairs, just normal, normal stone. And then in an indent by one again. Two, three, four, five. And then down again. I don't know why I keep doing that. Just one smooth quartz. Three polished diorite. Smooth quartz. And again, one, three. One. And that finishes off the outside of the wings. So now we need to do the inside. Um, so we're going to start up at the put the top. I think would be the best place. So we're going to take like the slabs of each of those blocks now. So quartz slab. Um, I don't know if you need smooth quartz as well, but you need polished all right So take the smooth quartz slab here, and we're going to do this all the way across up to there. And then this one here is going to be smooth quartz there, three polished smooth quartz, two and one. And yeah, basically on every single layer, we're just adding another layer of slabs. So one, 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 two, two, one, one, one there, two and two, one. You get the picture. So just keep doing that. And again, Sorry if I seem a bit out of it, it's just because I'm rather ill. <laughs> and that goes all the way across, lovely. And then one, one, and then this is three. And this final one, you get a picture just like that. Okay, so that's the right wing done. Now what we're going to do is copy that over and then we'll do the post build showcase. And we'll be sorted. And then I can go and recover. So, um, yeah, let's get copied over and do the post build showcase. Alright, so here are both versions of the Lambda Class Shuttle. Obviously, flight mode and landed mode with interior. You've got the inside with the seats. Um, very nice. And just a good display object for the one to one series. Obviously, it's a bit more functional and a bit more realistic in terms of size than the two to one model, but this is something you can do in a lot less time. And. Yeah, I think it still looks really, really nice. Um, like, shots like this are just really good. You can imagine it being flanked by two TIE Fighters, um, which I might do in the thumbnail, actually. But yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, I know it's been a little little longer than usual with this video, just because um, it's a little bit more difficult, and also because I've been so ill. I have been off from my real job all week. Um, because I was, I was just that poorly, I've been sleeping a lot. <laughs> so this, yeah, has really took a lot out of me. So I'll see you in the next one. Um, enjoy your day, stay safe, and bye-bye. Hey everyone, thank you for watching the video. On the screen right now you can see a list of the fantastic Patreon supporters who are helping to support the channel. If you want to check out the Patreon and other social medias of mine, you can find them all in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.